This food is one of the best foods in the world for cellular detoxification, and it will only cost you $2.50 per day to eat. Today, we're going to talk about watermelon. Watermelon, Citrullus linatus, is an annual trailing vine in the cucurbitaceae plant family, with about 965 other species, including foods such as cantaloupe, cucumber, squash, pumpkin, and zucchini. The name Linatus doesn't describe watermelon very well. Linatus means hairy in Latin, and these melons are far from hairy. The vines which they grow from are hairy. Some suspect the ancestral watermelon originated in southern Africa, but it's uncertain if it's true. Scientists do agree that watermelon's progenitor, your watermelon, was first cultivated in Africa, then headed north to Mediterranean countries and other parts of Europe. In the Kalahari Desert of South Africa, wild animals and hunter-gatherers known as Bushmen, or the San people, relied on a wild white-fleshed watermelon called Sama for water and nourishment. They would live on nothing but Sama for up to six weeks at a time. Without the presence of Sama, it's very difficult to travel through the Kalahari Desert or to live there permanently. The harsh desert conditions in which watermelon is able to grow in shows that it has a strong tolerance for a certain type of stress, the harsh heat of the sun. By observing plants' adaptive traits such as tolerating heat, we can then consume them to receive their adaptability for our bodies. Watermelon will help you adapt to the heat a lot better than eating man-made processed fast food. The water content alongside its nutrition and large amounts of antioxidants will help protect your cells from drying out and being damaged from the heat. Nutrients from watermelon will also help your body replace old cells and build new healthier, less toxic cells that are more resistant from the sun. Empty calories and lack of nutrition from processed foods will do the complete opposite. Processed foods will toxify and damage your cells, making them less resistant to too much sun and more likely to develop skin cancer. As an urban survivor, I think I'll stick to consuming nutrient-dense watermelon. Time tested. I say this all the time and I'll continue to say it throughout my career. I prefer to only consume food and herbs that are thousands of years old and not 10 years old or less from a lab. Which will you choose? Thousands of years of testing or only 10 years of testing? Watermelon has been eaten for over 5,000 years. It has been found in Hebrew texts, Egyptian tombs, and medieval illustrations. Evidence of artifacts found in Egyptian tombs, such as King Tut's tomb, suggests watermelon was first cultivated in Egypt over 4,000 years ago. Specifically, one tomb painting stands out to archaeologists the most. They notice that wild watermelons are round, but the watermelons in the painting is not. The painting better resembles the oblong-shaped watermelons that we eat today. This suggests the cultivation of watermelon began in Egypt, ultimately ending the consumption of the less palatable wild watermelon. This bit of history is kind of funny, so I thought I would share it with you. In 2007, Oklahoma declared watermelon as the state vegetable, and some people such as Senator Nancy Riley disagree with their decision. Senator Don Barrington said, the controversy on whether watermelon is a fruit or vegetable has been officially decided by the Oklahoma legislature. Senator Nancy Riley mentions that her dictionary considers watermelon as a fruit. Senator Barrington's response was, I guess it can be both. <laughs> well, I suppose watermelon is now both a fruit and a vegetable because Barrington said so. Admittedly, Barrington might be onto something. The rinds can be cooked as vegetables and the inner flesh is commonly eaten as a fruit. The health benefits of watermelon. Now that we've learned a small bit about the history of watermelon, let's check out the health benefits. Watermelon is an extremely popular summer food and for a good reason. Some of the potential health benefits of watermelon include 
alkalizes and detoxifies the body, reduces areal stiffness and aortic systolic blood pressure, reduces risk for cardiovascular diseases, lowers bad cholesterol, lowers inflammation, helps reduce recovery heart rate and muscle soreness 24 hours after exercise, may reduce the risk of certain cancers, increase blood concentrations of arginine, lycopene, and beta-carotene, supports kidney health including increases urine flow, cleanses the urinary tract, reduces kidney stones, improves kidney filtration of lymphatic waste, and cleanses the liver, protects the eyes, improves vision, protection from pathogenic attacks, prevention of diabetes, and is a good source of proteins. Mark Twain said, to taste a watermelon is to know what the angels eat. Most people like the sweet taste, but there is much more to this superfruit than its taste. I consider watermelon a class 1 superfood in my book. This means watermelon meets the criteria of having calories, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, enzymes, and medicinal health benefits. We can more specifically consider watermelon a fruitarian staple food. As a bonus, it's an easy to digest food, taking only about 15 to 30 minutes to digest, absorb, and utilize. This allows for quick nutrition before or after exercise, for people with chronic health conditions, or as a good nutrient-dense wake-me-up meal for breakfast. Take note, some people suggest eating watermelon at room temperature for even better digestion, but admittedly, cold watermelon is much more gratifying during the hot summer months. The average grocery store melons here in Michigan during the summer cost about $5 each. Oftentimes, they're on sale costing only $6 for two melons. Since they're high in water, eating more than half a melon per day is quite a challenge, unless you live in a consistently hot climate and sweat a lot. I would suggest only eating up to about half a watermelon per day, which will only cost you about $2.50 per day. Water. If you eat enough watermelon, you won't need to drink much water since watermelon is 80% to 90% water. If you do drink water and eat a lot of watermelon together, you could get into some trouble by overdosing on water and creating an electrolyte imbalance. Find the right balance of water for your own body. Monitor your urine color to make sure it's not too clear. If it's slightly yellow, you're in the safe range. If your kidneys and adrenals are weak, you could notice some swelling throughout your body when you eat watermelon. If you begin to notice swollen hands, feet, or other parts of your body, you should consider looking into herbal kidney and adrenal formulas. Contact your doctor and reassess the amount of water you consume. Are watermelon seeds safe to eat? Yes, watermelon seeds are safe to eat. They won't poison you or cause a plant to grow in your belly, you paranoid imaginative people. Conspiracy theorists, weirdos, Illuminati confirmed. Plants direct their energy into fruits and seeds during their reproductive stages of life. Therefore, most reproductive end products of plants contain concentrated nutrition. Watermelon seeds, flesh, and rind are nutritionally dense, hence why I classify watermelon as a class 1 superfood. The end product of plants is crucial in plant nutrition. Fruits, roots, grains, nuts, and seeds are all end products where plants concentrate nutrition for their survival. They put all their energy into reproduction to ensure their species will survive once they die. That's what makes a true superfood and it's the reason why we need to stop consuming so many seedless fruits. By the way, this nutrient concentration concept is similar for animals too, such as eggs. According to nutrition data based on the RDA, one ounce of dried watermelon seeds contains high amounts of the following nutrients. 156 calories, 20% fat, 14% saturated fat, 7,866 milligrams omega-6 fatty acids, 16% protein, 1-5% to B vitamins, 2% calcium, 11% iron, 36% magnesium, 21% phosphorus, 5% potassium, 1% sodium, 19% zinc, 10% copper, and 20% manganese. Combine that with half a melon and a well-rounded diet, you'll be easily attaining all the nutrients you need in a day. Woo! Yay! All the nutrients we need! Hee! If you want maximum nutrient extraction of the seeds, 
then be sure to blend them for about 30 to 60 seconds. I personally like to use a Nutribullet blender. My Nutribullet has surprisingly lasted about 7 years so far, and it only costs $69 brand new online. I really appreciate companies like Nutribullet that offer affordable health products. The only way we can change the health of our planet is by making health easily accessible. I'll leave a link in the description below for you if you're interested in using the same blender that I use. Now that we know the nutritional value of watermelon seeds, let's take a look at the nutrition data for half a watermelon. I would cover the data of a whole watermelon, but in reality, the average person is not going to be very fond of eating that much in a day. Instead, eating a quarter to half a watermelon per day is a bit more achievable. Plus, we want a diversity of foods in our diet anyhow. According to nutrition data based on the RDA, half a watermelon contains high amounts of the following. 677 calories, 5% fat, 1,129 milligrams omega-6 fatty acids, 27.5% protein, 257% vitamin A, 305% vitamin C, 5.5% vitamin E, 3% vitamin K, 49.5% thiamine, 28% riboflavin, 20% niacin, 51% vitamin B6, 17% folate, 50% pantothenic acid, 92 mg choline, 6.8 mg betaine, 16% calcium, 30% iron, 56.5% magnesium, 25% phosphorus, 72.5% potassium, 1% sodium, 15% zinc, 47.5% copper, 43% manganese, and 13% selenium. Add that data to the seeds and you have yourself a very therapeutic dose of nutrition. Additional nutrition found in watermelon. When I see people eat watermelon, I notice that they only eat the red flesh and they throw out the rind. Watermelon rind contains more of the amino acid citrulline and green chlorophyll compared to the red flesh. Kidneys convert citrulline into L-arginine. L-arginine is an important amino acid with over 100 health benefits, such as protect the kidneys, support the heart, reduce erectile dysfunction, enhance wound healing from trauma and hemorrhage, enhance wound healing in diabetic rats, fight cancer, reduce obesity, and much more. As for chlorophyll, it's the green color you see in rind, which has the ability to detoxify and build blood. I understand the rind doesn't taste that great, but with anything beneficial to our lives, there is a minor sacrifice that has to be made such as success, taking consistent long-term hard work, but you reap the rewards in the end. We need to rewire our brains for long-term satisfaction instead of short-term satisfaction unless it's being used for motivation. A great example of motivation is Watermelon Boy getting famous for eating an entire melon, including the rind. <laughs> For the boy. That's, I've never seen that before in my that life. That is unbelievable. Is he eating the skin? Yeah, he's eating the whole, he's eating the whole thing. 12 overs gone, two for 38. <laughs> oh my gosh, watermelon boy. I can't believe he ate that whole thing. Delusionally assuming there are no pesticides on the watermelon when you cut it, leave some of the rind intact and eat it before the flesh. Take a minor sacrifice with three rewards at the end. The first reward being the chlorophyll in the rind, the second being the sweet tasting flesh, and the third is the nutritional health benefits of the whole food. Rewarding yourself after a difficult task, such as eating the rind, will increase the likelihood of long-term success in discipline and wellness improvement. Arnold Schwarzenegger's father used to have young Arnold do push-ups before getting breakfast. A minor sacrifice with two rewards a healthy body, and a healthy meal. If you simply do not like the rind, try blending it with some lime juice. If blending doesn't sound appealing, watermelon rinds can also be pickled, stewed, stir-fried, and worst case scenario, composted in the garden. Lycopene. Watermelon can be considered a superfood for cardiovascular health and all-around wellness for the fact that it contains high amounts of carotenoids such as lycopene. 
Watermelon juice specifically was shown to increase plasma concentrations of lycopene in humans. Everyone associates red foods with the health of blood and the heart. That's because red foods contain the carotenoid lycopene. Lycopene is actually the reason why these foods are red. High amounts of lycopene is associated with lower risk of cardiovascular diseases. Hence, one of the reasons why tomatoes, goji berries, red bell peppers, watermelons, and other red foods are popular for protecting the heart. Tomatoes and tomato juices are exceptionally popular for heart health, but we shouldn't only praise tomatoes. Let's make some room for watermelon too, because it just tastes good. Lycopene is capable of much more than protecting the heart. Higher amounts of lycopene was found to be associated with reduced risk of prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, and breast cancer in Chinese women, inhibit liver cancer cell growth, lower risk of hip fracture in older adults, reduced mortality from metabolic syndrome, protection from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and more. As you can see, lycopene plays a fairly large role in potentially reducing the risk of cancers and other life-threatening diseases. These studies make a good case for watermelon being a disease-fighting food, regardless of the sugar content. I believe fruit sugar is safe, so long as it's consumed right from fruits and not concentrated in processed chemical-laden foods. We need all of nature's elements from whole foods to offset any possible negative effects of a single substance. That's why I'm wary of studies that say, oh, sugar is bad, especially because the studies were done on sugar alone or from bad food and not from nutritional, dense, organic pesticide-free fruits. Also, take note that the lycopene from watermelon may cause upset digestion in some. With adaptation over time, that will go away. Experiment with different quantities and see what works best for you. Watermelon contains choline. Choline acts like a water-soluble vitamin, but it's not an actual vitamin or mineral. It's an essential micronutrient that's similarly related to folate, methionine, and vitamin B12 because they're metabolized through the same pathways. Our bodies produce a small amount of choline through the methylation of phosphatidylethanolamine by N-methyltransferase, P-E-M-T, which forms phosphatidylcholine in the liver. What? Don't worry about it. Although that sounds super fancy, the methylation process is not efficient enough since it only produces small amounts of choline. The recommended simpler and less energy intensive way to get choline is through dietary sources such as watermelon. Half a watermelon contains 92 milligrams of choline. But the question is, is that enough? There's currently no recommended dietary allowance for choline, so the next best option is to maintain a nutrient-rich, mainly plant-based diet with choline-rich foods such as watermelon. I'm certain we'll get enough choline from our diets and never have to worry about deficiencies. Now that we quickly learned about how important it is to get choline from our diet, let's take a look at the health benefits of choline found in watermelon. Choline is important for the function of all cells, kidneys, lymphocytes, brain function, fetal development, methylation, detoxification, endocrine system, digestion, lipid transport in the liver, reproduction, and the function of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which supports memory and functions at the neuromuscular junction to activate the movement of muscles. That was uncalled for. Choline supports many functions in the body, but this is a great bit of information to start with. Later on, I'll make an in-depth video about choline. Let's take a quick look at choline deficiency and then move on to betaine found in watermelon. Choline deficiency puts the body at risk for fatty liver, reduces energy levels, suppresses brain development, damages liver, DNA, kidneys, pancreas, nervous system, lymphocytes, brain, muscles, and other parts of the body. If my fruitarian friends didn't notice, damage to lymphocytes is on that list. Studies show choline deficiency increases lymphocyte apoptosis. 
This could help explain why Fruitarians heal their lymphatic system by eating watermelon. Watermelon is well known by fruitarians and detoxification specialists for its ability to aid in kidney lymph filtration. I have a feeling choline plays a large role in kidney lymph filtration since it's an essential micronutrient for the entire body and there are significant consequences if you develop a choline deficiency, especially regarding the kidneys. Studies show choline deficiency can induce acute renal kidney failure. Guys, I must say, every time I research fruit, I find more proof to support the fruitarian diet and its ability to heal the body of pretty much every disease. The best part is that I only have to scrape the surface to find proof. Okay, let's move on to betaine. Betaine. The health benefits of watermelon doesn't stop with choline. Watermelon also contains betaine. To be exact, 6.8 milligrams betaine in half a watermelon. Betaine is the color red, which, once again, we commonly associate with heart health. Betaine is also involved in the methylation process and the detoxification of homocysteine. Homocysteine is a potential risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. Isn't it cool how it appears nature color-coded our health? I think so. I think it's freaking dope. Studies show betaine can significantly improve athletic performance, such as body composition, Arm size, bench press work capacity, attenuates the rise of urinary homocysteine thiolactone, HCTL, and improves power but not strength, although some studies do suggest it does improve strength. Besides athletic performance, some of the health benefits of betaine may include detoxifies and protects the liver, lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases, reduce uric acid levels, improve kidney function, attenuate effects from moderate alcohol consumption, attenuates homocysteine-induced memory deficits and Alzheimer-like pathological changes, inhibit aortic inflammatory response, some anti-cancer effects against liver cancer, was shown to exhibit tumoricidal effects, and induce apoptosis and cell cycle arrest. As you can tell, simply from choline and betaine in watermelon, we're seeing positive anti-cancer and full body protection from common ailments. That's what makes watermelon a true class one superfood. Be sure to incorporate watermelon into your lifestyle as an all around health rejuvenator. Since it tastes good, adding watermelon into your life won't be much of a challenge compared to taking shots of not so tasty grass juices. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's enough of health benefits. Now let's talk about cutting watermelon. How to cut watermelon. There are two ways to cut watermelon. Precise for different shapes, such as sticks, cubes, balls, and slices. Or you can go fruit ninja style on it. Okay, now that we safely cut a watermelon in half, I'll show you how you can safely cut it into different shapes. Also, warning. Never cut a knife towards you. I've seen some really dangerous people cutting watermelon, and I do not want to be held responsible for that. So never cut towards you, never near your fingers. Always keep a good distance. Please, I don't want fingerless people. How to cut watermelon into sticks. Cut the watermelon in half, set the cut side of the melon face down on the cutting board so it doesn't roll around. Slice the melon vertically making one to two inch thick slices, about five rows. Once you have cut one side, rotate it 90 degrees. Cut the melon once again making one to two inch thick sliced rows. Now you have easy to eat watermelon sticks, yummy. How to cut watermelon into cubes. Cut the watermelon in half lengthwise. Cut those pieces in half again lengthwise. Cut across both sides vertically and horizontally from the top for desired chunk sizes, about one to two inches wide. Next, we will make a cut without cutting through the rind. Cut across from left to right under the flesh without cutting through the rind, like a filet. Tip the melon into a bowl and all the pieces will fall out. It's like Christmas. Yay, it's a watermelon miracle. Bite-sized bits. 
How to tell if watermelon is ripe. There really is no efficient way to tell if watermelon is ripe when shopping at the grocery store. I've actually seen some people smell them. They must know something that I don't know. What I do know is that you could knock on it. If it doesn't resonate much, then it's likely too hard, meaning it's not ripe. But in all honesty, the only true way to tell if a watermelon is ripe is to look at the shriveled stem when it's still growing on the vine. Unfortunately, most of us will only be getting them from the grocery store and not right off the land. Don't worry, don't freak out, yo. If the watermelon turns out to be bad when you cut it at home, your grocery store will almost always be willing to replace it for a new one. Conclusion. All in all, I think watermelon is a food that almost everyone should be consuming as often as possible. For the sheer fact that watermelon is a powerful, all-around, nutrient-rich, rejuvenating, detoxification food and is affordable, costing only five... That's ten. It's only costing five bucks per melon. Be sure to give watermelon more attention in your life. It's truly a powerful food, especially by doing watermelon fasts. Half a day, a whole day, three days, a week, or maybe longer. Obviously, be sure to check with your doctor before doing watermelon fast. After adding watermelon into your life, let me know in the comments below how it helps your health. Well, that's it for this video. Do you like watermelon? Have you ever done a watermelon fast? What's your favorite way to cut and eat it? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit like on this video like your life depends on it. Share this video with anyone you feel needs to know this information and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I upload numerous health videos that you won't want to miss. If you would like additional education, then be sure to subscribe to my newsletter. My newsletter will get you access to my videos before anyone else, additional health tips, and occasional herbal supplement giveaways. Also, be sure to check out my online store, sungazerherbs.com, for herbal supplements, computer glasses, space hoodies, and other super cool accessories. Shopping at Sungazer Herbs will support my channel and your wellness. As always, I'm Brandon Goji, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay motivated, you urban survivors. Oh yeah, and you should follow me on social media. I need to like grow that and stuff. In the Kalahari Desert of S in the Kalahari in the Kalahari Kala Kalahala Kalahala Hala Hu Kalawa Kalahu Kalayu <laughs> Subscribe to my weird channel, thank you. That's great. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> I can't take myself seriously. In the Kalahari Desert of South F Damn it, your phone went off! Are round, but the watermelons in the painting. But the watermelons. The watermelon as the state vegetable, and some people sent geese. Add that, dead. Add that. Add that. Add that. Sure would be a shame. Watermelon will make you pee. Oh, that sure would be somebody with you. Homocysteine is a potential risk. <sighs> Homocysteine is. <sighs> I forgot to breathe.